Welcome back to AMS Vans, America's Mobility Superstore, right here in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to talk about the new 2015 Ford Transit full-size van. This is a medium roof. Uh, this is the before, the after. It has the 15 passenger seating in it. We're going to show you our application with the commercial Rikon lift and different floor plans available. Uh, so come on over and we'll show you how it's done. This is showing the 15 uh, passenger seats. Uh, we can actually remove these seats, do whatever type of flooring system you like. We can do a side entry lift, rear entry lift, uh, but we can modify and do just about anything to these vans to accommodate your needs. So come on over here to the after and we'll show you one of our applications for our rear entry. So this is the uh, commercial Rikon S uh, 2010 series lift. We do have the Intermotive Interlock system in this as well, so when the lift is actually out or if the doors are open, the vehicle will not go into gear. So you have that safety feature in, in this as well. Show you how it works. I'm going to deploy the lift. It's going to come on down. So we'll unfold the lift. It stops there. And then you're going to push the down function. All right now, so this has a safety switch on the lift. It will actually stop if this is not buckled in. Right now to the ground. Unfold. Now let's go inside. We'll show you our floor system. All right, so this is our subfloor that we laid down here in the rear entry. On this particular application, the customer wanted to uh, utilize these seats here, remove the, the rear two bench seats, and just do a two wheelchair uh, uh, system right here. You do have the l track system that we lay in the floor with the QRT Max. We do put in the shoulder harnesses that will clip onto the lap belts that hook onto the restraints that go around to the client's waist, and then you bring this piece over and attach it. Um, these are removable. Just pop them off, slide your track out, and you put in different spots on the floor to accommodate the wheelchair. So if you got two here, I will usually would just leave like that, and then if I have one in the center, you can pretty much just put these in different uh, positions. Uh, these seats are removable. You have these two quick release levers, you take those, the seat will slide out and you can remove it to give you more space. Um, so you do have the option if you want to take the subfloor, go further that way, you can. Leave these seats here, put your subfloor up behind that seat so you can still remove this and then you can put two or three wheelchairs here. Remove this jump seat, you're good to go. There's a lot of different applications. Um, so I just wanted to show you that with that floor plan or you can actually take all these seats out take the subfloor, go all the way up to the front. Are right, we going to show you how to load a passenger up into the vehicle? Unbuckle the safety strap. Whoop. Come on in. This will come around him. Pull it forward. Buckle that in. We're going to move on up. Lift will come up. Stop at the threshold. And the client's going to pull straight in to the center of the vehicle. Now we'll go over how to strap them down safely. All right, so on this particular chair, it's a single post chair, so you will have to have your blue strap, transit straps. Some chairs only have a single post, so you have to use these to actually tie down to. Other chairs will have the uh, transit loops already installed on them. So this blue strap's going to go around here in the front. I'm going to take my QRT Max and load it there. Keep my QRT Max there. These are the Max, they self tighten as you drive down the road. They tighten themselves up, so it's a no brainer, it's always going to be tight. Same thing for the rear. All right, we're going to show you how to properly uh, strap down the client in the chair. A lot of people think that the seat belts on the wheelchairs are adequate enough, but they're not. So you want to be strapped down to the vehicle as well. You have the peg, so depending on which shoulder harness you're using, you want on the opposite side of the hip. We're going to use this one over here. Buckle yourself in. And we're going to attach these to the little peg on the back. We're going to attach that to the little peg on the back there. And then we're going to make sure he's tight. So this peg, you want it on the opposite side of his hip. So I'm going to pull that tight there. We'll pull this one tight over here. We're going to bring our manual shoulder 
around his hip. And we're gonna lock it in place right here. All right, now you can take this, get it to where you want it at. And then he's good to go. So the other feature that we add on the 2015 Ford Transit full size is this running board slash step. We uh, install it from the passenger front to the rear of the sliding door and then the small one on the driver's side as well. Makes it easier for the customer to step up into the van. So if you want an application like this, give AMS Vans a call, contact one of our mobility consultants and they'll get you what you need.